Jen is going to give us a quick presentation or a long presentation. I'll take as much as I can get from Jen on um, on uh, time management. So I'm going to give Jen control of the meeting. She has presenter privileges, and uh, thank you, Jen. I'm just going to kind of walk through um, how I use Google Calendar. I don't know how everyone else uses it, but um, there's just a couple things that I think we probably do a little differently. When we do our clinics, because we have contractors in the Dallas area, every clinic that we do, every physician has the physician information in it and the things that we do there, who the contact person is. So if you click on any particular day, you're going to see what's going on in that clinic and some of their preferences in terms of how they like to do things. So this week, if you clicked on these clinics, it says who was in the clinic. Jay is for me. I was in that clinic that day, Dr. Bishop's clinic right here. And Leslie was in Dr. Tranchina's clinic this morning. I was in clinic this afternoon, Let's see a little bit better, with uh, Lori this afternoon. We were there together. So every time there's a clinic, you'll see more information about it. Some of them have more than others because they require more specific instructions. But that's the biggest thing about our clinic. It always has an address, the clinic manager, contact person, how the billing is done. Um, sometimes you'll see like parking information depending upon where you are and uh, just kind of a useful thing for the contractors to know when they walk in. Everything that we do is for Google sales or for Google Calendar for our sales. We put all our leads in here. So if we're doing an area, these are all the different doctor's offices and the outcomes. We visited these offices and they were not interested. They wanted to refer out. It's kind of useful because if you think that you're going to go to an office or someone gives you a lead on an office and you're like, oh, no, I know that name. I've been there before. You can, in fact, search your calendar for a doctor's name and it'll come up what the status was. So if I said Laurel in here, then I would say that I was there today. But if I said something like Apollo, which was something I did today, I'm going to say how many times I've been there. Finally, I brought snacks today. And she asked how it references facts over. If we look in detail, that was the outcome. Request references facts to her, and then I'll follow up in two weeks if I've not heard from her. Not only I know that, but then knows that also. Everything gets imported. Other little things, just things like tasks that I've done. Like on Monday, I'll, I'll write a bunch of tasks down, or even Tuesday. So yesterday, I shipped the laptop back to Joe. If he calls me and I'm on the road, all the stuff loads into my phone, and here's the tracking number right here. So you can immediately click on it and load it over to see what's going on. Um, if you're if you're on the road and you're talking to your doctor and they want to know when their next time is and you want to give them like a whole list of emails, sometimes the easiest thing is to type the name up and switch my calendars and then just go through and highlight and copy all the dates and put it into an email. It's the fastest way to give them their whole schedule for the rest of the year if they're a new client. Anyone have any questions on how to better use Google? So, Jen, you use um, the calendar items as tasks, is that right? Yes, tasks and their outcomes, because I can then search them both in my phone and in my desktop. If someone asks me what happened to that issue, I can research it immediately off my phone. And so if you need to follow up with someone, you just drag it to, like, next Tuesday? I would type it in, or, like, today, I know that tomorrow I've got to call Diana regarding the humanity issue. So, and then when I get to that, on my phone, I'll edit the event details and put in the outcome of it. Nice. And so this is Google-based, so your, your Android phone, is it just as easy to navigate or, or work with on your Android phone? Since Google is, in fact, an Android OS operating system, it is very easy to incorporate the Android. So they update between both of them back and forth within about five minutes. So it makes it a lot easier for more than one person to work with it because you're constantly communicating back and forth. Not only can I see this, but other people in our region can see this. 
if I make a scheduling change. Um, and now, what, if, if you don't put something in the future, what are the chances you'll totally forget about uh, call, recalling someone back or a, a clinic that you intended to call on? Pretty good, based on the volume of calls that occur every day. <laughs> I think it's, it's really important to put it in, otherwise it may or may not happen, and I want everyone to know what the outcome was in case I'm not necessarily the next person that answers the question. Thanks. Now, just on a personal note, you used the Franklin, you used to use the Franklin system, right? Yes. I used the Franklin for 10 years. And you, you find this is just, just as complete? This is complete and better because of transparency. So your teammates can see everything. Right. That'd be nice. <laughs> That's way nice. Thank you, Jen. Huh. Uh, anybody else have any other questions? No? All right. Well, um, thank you, Jen. That was really nice. We will uh, move over to Stacy, who has a presentation on how things are um, measured in the office and what looks good to the software and what doesn't look good to the software so that we can, um, you know, the pictures we take can be immediately relevant to them. Uh, hold on one second, Stacy. Uh, doing some